We could survive that. We could survive that. We could survive that. Hello and welcome to We Could Survive That, your survival guide to the movies. My name is Jack and today I'm joined by a man who once headbutted Mike Tyson with somebody else's head. It's Chris. Hello everybody. I just want to say I used the other head because it was a lot easier to get to him than use my own head because he is bloody massive. Did you throw the head at him or...? Uh, throw the head? Yeah, I um, severed somebody's it? head and I launched it at him across the room because I thought if I get any closer he's going to get me and it'll mm. be scary. The most effective way of headbutting someone. It <laughs> is, a, in fact. It is, yes. From a distance. Um, uh, we've gone all HD today. We've got pop filters and... and and everything so oh no so we feel professional we feel professional but if the quality comes out bad that us <laughs> it's because of the pop filters it's chris's fault um today we are going to be surviving 2012 2012 as you all know the world ended then didn't it it was oh oh it did it sorry it did no, it, it was, did, it did. Yeah, oh. yeah 2012 being the um disaster movie that was obviously based on the mind prophecy that the world would end on december 21st 2012 uh, the reason they th- mind everyone thought the Mayans thought it was going to end is because the Mayans Cause long the Mayans calendar. Because the Mayans are idiots. Well, no, it's the Mayan long calendar. Ended on the 21st of December, 2012. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, most, what, what people didn't seem to realise was the calendar just restarted. Like, well, oh, shut up. Can we talk about films now? <laughs> I'm just giving a quick explanation, <laughs> but whatever. Right. Uh, do you want to guess at when the film 2012 was released? 2009. Damn it. Spot on, wasn't I? I yeah. God, I, I'm I thought good. you were going to get it wrong and I'd get to go out and go, ho, 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 it's not. No, no, um, I knew it was really 2009 because I watched it this morning for the first time. Damn you. Yeah. Uh, directed by Roland Emmerich, who did other better films like Godzilla, the 1998 Day. version. No, you're so wrong. What? That was a good film. It's not. It is. I will fight you. You suck so I much. I will fight you. Independence Day was a good film, though. Of yeah, course. That was a good film. Yes. Um, and he did uh, Day After Tomorrow as well, which. They're pretty much the same film. I don't even like the day after tomorrow. Twenty twelve and day after tomorrow. They've both got big tidal waves in. Yeah, but let's face it, day after tomorrow didn't have giant fireballs from the, from from the sky and epic flights through the city. It did have terrible CGI wolves on a boat. Wolves on a boat. Wolves on a boat. Wolves on a boat. Wolves I on a know. boat. I've not seen all of the day after tomorrow. Oh, don't. I've only seen where it floods, and that's about it. Oh, yeah, you've seen the whole movie then. Yeah, I've that's seen pretty much the whole movie that's then. Pretty much it. Okay. Um, Right, we'll 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 get started then. Um, uh, Jackson Curtis, the main character, and his annoying children and wife. Um, ex-wife. Ex-wife. Because yes. she's parent. She, uh, she's uh, She's currently with uh, Gordon in the um, plastic Flash. surgeon. Ah, oh, he's the universe. What does it? Savior, champion of the universe. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. Savior of the universe. I don't know. I've never watched it. He saved it. He's got Brian blessed. <laughs> You like Brian. What are you doing now? Why are you, why are you taking your clothes off? Just no, stop. No, the microphone keeps rubbing against me. Oh um, my and my what? titanium abs. Titanium <laughs> abs, everybody. My titanium abs. Right. Where where do you want to get started on this one? Um well, I said I watched the film this morning. I made a list of scenes where they survived where I think they should have died and scenes where people died where I think w- we could survive that. We could survive anything. We could we've survive established that. that, haven't we? Well, we have indeed with our limited camping experience. So, um, what do you do? You want to quickly run over the scenes where we think they should have died, and then focus on the su- on where we could survive? Uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll do it in 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 um in chronological order. In chronological, that's how I've written them down on my list because oh, I made I made the notes as I wrote as I watched the film, so that's good. they are in order of what happened. Right. Well, we'll start at the beginning. At the beginning, where else but at the beginning? Yeah. Right, uh, the first scene that I saw where I think I could survive was the um, car explosion scene with the French guy driving through the tunnel that Princess Diane uh, was the same one in the film that she died in. Uh, da, 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 da. He's driving along, he gets a suspicious car behind him when he's on the he phone is, to the president's La daughter. Yeah, he's French. He's La France. And then uh, the back of the car explodes, thrown it onto its front. The next thing you've seen it, uh, you don't actually see him die, you just see Fireman the next time you see the car and then he's... Presu- the film, in, the film just suggests he's dead. Now, I reckon I could survive that because the explosion was just a little one. Could survive a car being flipped onto your head. Was he wearing a seatbelt? He should have been wearing a bloody seatbelt. Yeah. If not, that would explain how he died. Yeah. Silly man, should have been wearing a seatbelt. But uh, it's the, not the, good. 
Well, yeah, because the explosion happens under the back of the car, so it flips the car into the front. So unless he wasn't wearing a seatbelt, he would have got thrown if, out of that if and they horribly wanted mutilated. To, to make sure he was dead, why didn't they put the bomb under his seat? And then he would definitely... Or under the front of the car, so it just blows up the engine. Yeah. There you go. It would be hard to explain why his why his car just suddenly exploded. Oh, yeah, from France the rear as well. Oh, oh that, that's, that's not good. You, don't take the pi- don't, you can't take the piss out of the French engineering. We do not engineer as well as the <laughs> Germans. <laughs> right, are you done now, mock, <laughs> mocking, yeah, mocking I'm, I'm the done. French? I'm done. <laughs> that's good. Um, I'm trying to think. Right, so I, I would survive that by A, wearing a seatbelt, not like a moron. Uh, talking on the phone as well. He was talking on the phone. There's another reason he probably died. He was talking. That's probably on the phone. why they detonated the bomb. That's they why they zero the tolerance policy in France about oh God, using yeah, come down hard mobile them. phones in cars. Yep, should not have been using a mobile phone at all. Uh, how good. would you survive it? Well, a- as you know, I take driving very seriously. Yeah, uh, too seriously. And, and, and the number three on my list, apart from checking mirrors and lights, uh, number three is checking the underside of the car for, for bombs. bombs. <laughs> Yeah. So basically, one of the best ways to survive I, this is every time you go to drive, check the underside of your car for yes. a bomb. Yes. Why well, doesn't everyone do that? Really? No, I, I don't think so. No, I wouldn't imagine so. I've never checked the underside of my car for oh. a bomb. You should do. It's fun. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would it fun. be fun? You lay down a skateboard and you you scoot under, have a look. Why a skateboard? Because it's got wheels. Give and it saves you getting dirty. Oh, you God. don't want money. Why don't you need to prop the car up a bit though before you've done that? Because you put no, it too big. No, you can just slide under. If you say so, but I'm, I'm not like, buying I'm any I'm of this. I'm a nimble fellow. Um, he means scrawny. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, I have, uh, uh, after this, after <coughs> oh, the excuse French. Me. Thank you for burping. Oh, real burp right. or fake burp? Yeah, real burp or fake burp? That was a real one that because we gave one. it away. Oh, yeah. Not a good game show. Um, uh, the father. Uh, Jackson uh, takes his kids to Yellowstone for some reason. I don't remember why he took them. Camping. Camping. Oh, yeah. We'll take children camping in a toxic volcano it's, it's place not... thing. No, that let's, would be be, let's be a little bit fair to him. Let's be a little bit He's fair. A terrible... <laughs> <laughs> He's a terrible... He's a terrible... Kids, let's go camping in a hot volcano area. Yes. We can sacrifice the younger one to yeah. abuse the gods. Well, he t- he, there's a dead um, deer in one of these gas one of these gas things it's dead yeah I know it's dead I know what will be great I'll take the kids let's there let's walk my small children yes, over it through the gas <laughs> where they'll we can probably die. The they, they should have died they probably inhaled a lot of yeah. a lot of toxic fumes then if yeah that's that's not good parenting hang on how is this a scene I thought we were talking about scenes where they died where we could have survived nobody died in that scene yeah but they should have died the children should oh, have died oh we're going to right okay yeah. the children so not necessarily at that point, but they should have developed some sort of lung infections later on due yes. to toxic fumes, and then they should have killed over dead. Yes, eventually. Are we sure that's what killed the deer? They just had a bad day. Oh no, Woody Harrelson Got probably by shot a tiger. the deer. Yeah, crazy, <laughs> Woody Harrelson. Crazy Woody Harrelson. I love the fact he was eating gherkins when he was spying on them. I know. That was lovely. They I love gherkins. Down his <laughs> he dribbled down. He dribbled. Yeah. Cheeky. He's got no table manners. I know it's lovely. It's not. I'd like to. I want dinner with Woody Harrelson. I want to go pickles. for a drink with Sean Bean and have dinner with Woody Harrison. Because I love pickles. Would you be paying for dinner with Woody Harrison? No, if I go to dinner with someone, I expect them to pay. I'm an expensive date. I'll have you know that. <sighs> Do you want to get dinner Woody. off this at all? No. Come on, let's go get some dinner. No. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Okay. Um. So, so kids should have died uh, in hailing Possibly, not gases. necessarily died or become very oh. sick. While, while um, or be psychologically scarred. Uh, quite especially the daughter Lily. At a young age, she's seen this animal just ripped to shreds. Yeah. It was dead. I think it Scavenged. like split open and stuff mm. as well. Mm. So while while the kids were off camping, um, uh, Kate and Flash Gordon, the the new baby daddy, were off shopping. The new baby daddy. The new baby daddy. They were off shopping in a in a store, um, when the ground cracks. And swallows up the American superstore thing. Tesco. I think it was just a supermarket. Was a, it a super supermarket super superstore? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. The the bit I liked about that scene was the crack opened up directly in between them, so they separated into that, separate sides. That was perfect. And the ground either side was stable. You would expect some 
give on either side. Yeah, of the nothing. It, just, it, it, it should have slipped and was drawn and apart, were, and it was completely fine. They were right on the edge as well. Now, what, what what was brilliant was a, a couple uh, like a minute before that happened, he had said to her he wants he, he wants to make a baby with her, and creepy. she and she said creepy. While well, she's buying diapers for a seven year old girl. Because uh, she had some sort of wetting problem, uh, if I remember correctly. You still have that, don't you? Uh, every now and then. You know, I went for a wee before we started this podcast. I need to go again. <laughs> I need another wee. We've only been on 11 minutes. Oh, dear. Yeah, 11 minutes. I need a wee again. Yeah, <laughs> professional. What I mean, what I would like to see in that scene uh, is they would have tried to start making a baby in the supermarket. Then the ground would have split. Yeah, they wouldn't have been able to jump apart so quickly then, would they? Imagine that. No. And then they would have fallen to their death. You, you want a very different film. <laughs> You want the but shady, I think shady side of the internet. The, the news reporter said no casualties for the entire store being ripped Someone apart. Someone no must have been in the all. path, even in no, the car park no, or something. No, 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 because we all know it would open I up in between people. I refuse to believe people. that. No, of course not. Nobody would have fallen into that, and there would be no casualties at all. Very polite ground tremor then. That's very that polite ground nice tremor. Yeah, not to yeah. swallow anyone. I won't up. open up underneath your feet. I'll open in between these two, but I'll spread them apart, but safely so they don't Ooh, fall off. There's a person. I best. Oh, best I best skew left. off to the left or right or whatever. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Not a good... Did not like that. Not a good crack at all. All right. Uh, what we, um, what's, what's, what's after next? that saying? Let me have a quick look-see on my list that I wrote out. Shuffle the papers so we sound professional. There we go. Don't know if you heard that or not. Yes. Um That's how professional hmm. we are. We have paper. Well, see, I didn't write any of that stuff down. I mean, what I've got next on my... Where I think people should have died was at the beginning of the film when he jumps... Where um, Jackson jumps over his sofa and trips... I reckon she'd have fallen and broken no, his neck then. Yes. That's you just being picky. No, he tripped. Skip past the tripping ones. We don't go back, we go forwards. Ah, oh, but I got another good tripping What's one. What's after the store? What? Don't say he they... trips camping or he gets tangled up in the camping nets and impales himself <laughs> on a tent peg. Yes, I should have no. died like that. God, I should make a film. I had so many What's inventive deaths. What's after the store? Um, on my list of what, where they survived or where they should have died? Either whichever's in it. Um, where they should have died, I got Squash Against the Boat. This is when the two guys, uh, the two singers are about to board the boat. There's a little bit of a tidal wave and it pushes the boat up against the dock. Right up against the dock. Crashes onto the dock and then back down to the sea. And they're like, ooh, ooh, what was that? Does Nobody boat, was injured that at all. Does the boat still... No, yeah, this, the boat well, was fine. Well, if it was a little one, boats yeah, but are designed you're telling to me, like, well, like have a little bit of wobble. But it crashed up against the dock. If there's well, anybody, if anybody do. was like leaning over the gap, like looking the down at the water or anything, there they would have been hurt. The boat driver was probably drunk. The boat driver. That was probably. Do you not it. mean the, the captain, 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 the sailors? The, yeah. The boat was, driver, ladies and gentlemen. The boat and gentlemen. driver. He was probably drunk. Um. So I'm I'm putting that down to him. Okay, working with that one. Um. My next one I got where I think they should have died is the limo scene when Jackson's re- uh, just, he's returned the kids after their very short camping trip yeah. and their, <laughs> their, tr- their traumatising camping, camping trip, trip with dead deer in which they met the dead deer and um, the pickle eating when did you Woody first Harrison. have nightmares about Rudolph Rudolph it was when my nanny took us and there was a third <laughs> reindeer and it was all split open and all and the gas came up <laughs> <laughs> and then the creepy the creepy pickle eating guy came <laughs> he out. He came out. And it's like, <laughs> I don't know what happened then. <laughs> he I looked a lot like Woody Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like Woody Harrison, but he couldn't be Woody Harrison. He ate the pickle so seductively, though. You bit that right <laughs> off. <laughs> the little bit of juice that dripped went down the front after you bit the pickle. There was a juice. <laughs> it wasn't even a pickle. <laughs> it was a seven penis he painted green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cannibalism! <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're right there. <laughs> you do that on purpose whenever I take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> we I, should... couldn't, I couldn't stop you. <laughs> we right. shouldn't be drinking right. or recording a podcast. We're serious <laughs> recorders here. Stop drinking. <laughs> anyway, where okay, was I? Childhood trauma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, childhood trauma over. Um, yeah, after um, he gets. Uh, oh yeah, limo it? driving. <laughs> That's <laughs> driving the driving the limo through the city as everything's breaking apart and the buildings are collapsing. Okay. Jackson's meant to be a writer. 
where did he learn how to stunt drive like that? I know, in those a limo, impressive driving limos skills. are not known for their manoeuvrability. He should have spent like hours trying to do a three-point turn, trying to turn it around or something. But then, to be it's fair, just, he was working as a limo driver at the time, wasn't he? Yeah, for how long, Which is though? Why he those Russian kids. Does, is limo driving 101 how to avoid cement trucks and, and buildings and things? Yeah, did you see how he moved out of the way of the old lady driving and then jumped, how? had a ramp to jump up on over and then accelerated through the building while it was collapsed? Collapsing. Right, right. That's or the I... bridge that falls, the bridge, and the car scrapes the top of the bridge, doesn't it? Uh, sorry, the top of the car gets scraped on the underneath of the bridge as it's coming down. Right. Brilliant. The amount of jumps that that car, that limo, would have done would have completely wrecked the underside. All the axles and bits and bobs, because we we know cars, don't we? They've got engines and things. We the engine would have cars. fallen out. We know loads. We know loads. We know everything. Oh, that they would have fallen out. All, all the important bits at the bottom of the car would have fallen out. The old ladies, did you notice? They didn't get a mm. nice ramp to jump off of. No, no they got, they got a solid a ramp. bit. They got barricaded. I the, love that. The earthquake one. with the with the ramps for Jackson and the solid walls for the old lady. Yeah, push up that like, one bit, not... one bit of rock right in front of them. I love that when they're driving. And yeah. I, I don't know what the old lady said to the other one, but they look they look brilliant. Just two old they ladies just, driving they along. They were just getting on with their day. They and were, then, and then. I don't think yeah. they noticed what was happening around them, to be honest. Bad driving. Oh, well, I like that scene. It was a very funny scene. I was actually yeah, laughing. I while love it, was it on. when old ladies die. That's <laughs> no, brilliant. Not when old ladies die, but that scene in particular, I was I was laughing while watching it. You Saying sick that, bastard. I I watched Titanic. I, I laughed when the ship was sinking. And the guy <laughs> the guy fell off at the top of the ship and he pings Dongs off the propeller. Onto the propeller. Yeah. That was a lovely done. But we'll probably do. We'll co- I think we should cover Titanic. In a future episode, I want to cover Titanic. Yeah, yeah, we'll do Titanic and a bunch of other, a bunch of other ones. Um, sounds good. Sounds good. Eventually. Um, but yeah, so I don't think he. Sh- I mean, he avoided all the um buildings, all the bits of rock, all the um Bullshit. cracks. Drove through a building that was collapsing and a bridge that was collapsing and yeah. came out fine in a limo. I might add. Was the limo a BMW? Because you you have first hand experience with how tough a Beamer is. Oh, for God. Those things they. They just plow through anything and keep going. Yeah, tell they me plow, about They plow through your little car. Yeah, last year I was Walking. on my way to the download festival and I was in traffic on the motorway. Uh, the traffic was queued up and so I was sitting in the queue and this BMW just came up behind me, slammed his brakes on the last moment and just went straight into the back of me. Wrecked my car, had to write my car up and get a new car. Bloody horrible. Didn't enjoy that. It's Didn't have fun on that day. <laughs> yeah, no, get lost. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't enjoy that. Right, we have uh, a mystery to solve for the next one, don't we? What's the mystery? Uh, the death of the pilot. Um, Jackson uh, hires out a ha- hires out a plane with just with his watch, and this guy agrees to fly them just before going to pick up his family. Yeah, before, before the, the whole scene. crazy limo stuff. Yep. And when he gets back, lo and behold, the pilot is dead. But how? Exactly. Now, what's brilliant about this is they survived that the city collapsing. When they arrive at the airport, the only damage you can see is a part of the floor is cracked and yet the pilot was laying there and he had blood running down his head yeah now there's there's nothing the runway's completely clear there's no it, no yeah. buildings he's parked the plane on the runway ready to take off and everything he was he was right. fueling the plane wasn't yeah. he? that's what he was doing so nothing could have fallen on his head unless a bird fell on an ostrich an fell ostrich. on his head is that is that is that after um didn't we have an ostrich fall on no, for some reason I just thought of Jupiter Ascending when we had said about... <laughs> oh yeah, that classic scene Sean in Beaming Jupiter crushed. Ascending. Well, the ostrich crushes yeah. him, yeah. Um, Have you gonna... seen Jupiter Ascending? I'm, what, since I'm, we recorded yeah. that podcast? No. No, neither no. have <laughs> I. I'm sure we will one day. No. Why not? Because I'm lazy. God's sake, you're so serious. I just, no. You're doing a film no, podcast. Do, do you want me to watch a film? I want you to watch a film that we've spoken about, yeah, to see how <sighs> <laughs> how correct our... Um, our, That's uh, crazy things talk. were in it. I can't, remember, I can't think of the uh, word. Predictions. Predictions. Yeah, we'll go that way. That's the right word. I have a theory on what happened to the pilot. Okay, not an ostrich then. Not an ostrich. What? He what, tripped. What do you think? He tripped. Oh, right. Trimmed him fell onto a tent peg. Well, no, no. We'll get this right. The only thing around is the cracked floor, which is stuck up and you know jagged. The blood's on his head, so obviously whatever killed him hit him in the head. He must have just tripped and cracked his head on the floor. Or maybe he went and had a look inside the crack. Like poked his poked <laughs> his eye in, in just into the see. crack, right? And then he couldn't see anything, so he repeatedly headbutted it to try and make <laughs> to widen the crack open and so then, he can have a look. And then died. And then died. Or he was fueling the plane, left the um, 
the 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 the, uh, the 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 fuel line in the plane, so it's filling it up. It took a long time to say. Yeah, fuel I couldn't think of the word. And then um and then the fuel filled right up in the plane, and the pressure pushed the fuel line out, cracks him in the head. He falls. With the pump. Yeah, and then he falls to the floor dead, and then it lands in his hand. Okay. No. Because the plane was fueled, which means he must have filled the plane and then have been walking away from it when he died. So you've a trip by walking away, or the fuel line flew out the plane and smacked him in the head after it filled the plane up because the pressure built up. Have you ever seen a fuel line ever explode out of a car? And Does that ever happen to you when you're filling up your car? Yeah, three times, actually. Well, then you're doing that wrong. <laughs> yeah, so, no, three times. so wrong. So wrong. So I think that's the mystery of the dead pilot. Uh, what have you got Sold. next? Sold. Um, after that, I think... I have uh, Gordon can fly a plane yes oh Gordon mir- miraculously had taken Go- this two or three lessons this in a, film in is a single full engine of coincidences plane. like that isn't it that's not a coincidence no it wouldn't be a coincidence Gordon can fly It'd be a, um... the limo driver knows a rich Russian person the monks at the end telling them how to sneak onto the arks Whoa, whoa, spoilers. Let's, it's let's just reel back, it's reel back. full of coincidences. Calm down. I can see the vein on your forehead's getting Gordon, bigger. Gordon can't fly a plane. He's right. a busy, busy surgeon. When is he going to have time to fly a plane? I mean, he's probably got enough money to hire someone to fly him if he ever needs to be flown. But he wants Why to does he himself? need to fly? Oh, easy. Oh, easy. When? Yeah, calm down, calm down. Your face is turned red. Fuck You're getting you, a little Gordon. angry. Well, oh, well, let's watch the language here. Have something out of your sippy cup. Sit down. That's it. That's it. Slap that right up. I'll oh, take it all. Big. That's it. Like a big girl. <laughs> he can't fly a plane. Right. I don't care. He said he's taken like two or three lessons in a single engine plane. This was two engines. Um, I love the bit he gets into the plane and he starts doing his safety check while the runway starts collapsing. He was checking for bombs as well. That's. Oh, that's what he did right, was it? That's what he done right. Mirrors, lights, and bombs. I love the way how the runway starts collapsing just as they get into the plane. Oh yeah, it was didn't polite. It waited minutes. for them. Yeah, yeah. It, wa- it waited. Yeah, that was nice of it. But as we know, it uh, didn't choose to kill anybody at the shopping market, so we no. should understand. It chose that. to kill those old ladies for for some unknown reason. Yeah, well, maybe it, it had a bad time. experience with old ladies. An earthquake had a bad experience with old ladies. Yeah, you don't know what could have happened. Um, one could have been on the toilet having a poo, uh, and then the earthquake happens and the floor splits open. She falls off the toilet, shits herself, and some shit fell in the crack. Earthquake was like right. Let's Surely bring on you twenty. Mean the let's... shit fell out the crack. <laughs> fell out one crack enough, into the other crack. Enough of old ladies' bottoms. We are. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. We are getting into some dark, dark territory here. <laughs> right. So um, Gordon can fly a plane. He um, flies then it through they... the city. Why everything's collapsing? Yes. Uh, no. He wouldn't be able to do that. He w- no. That's crazy. I don't think. All right. So you got all these trained pilots and stuff that probably died trying to do that, and you got this amateur pilot. Does a, Who, you know why, don't you? What? Because because he's with his girlfriend and her ex-husband's like, there, and he's trying I've to impress show her. I've got to show up. I got I got to act like the big dick here. It's a, it's a yeah. Cock he drove through the city. It was. He I got to fly through the city. Through I got to fly through the city. I got to show. I got to show up. Oh oh no. Oh I I can't go up high. Wink wink. And he's like, Wait, I'm gonna look fly at these through skills. the buildings. Oh yeah. See, that's that's how we roll. You did it on the ground. I can do it. I in can the do air. it in the air. I, I'm one up in you. That's Go what it up. was. That's what he's trying to do. I'm one up in you. Yeah. I've got the love of your wife and the love of your children. I'm gonna make sure you die alone. Watch as I fly through <laughs> these collapsing buildings. <laughs> he was trying to shake him, shake Jackson out of the plane. <laughs> yeah, that's what he was trying to do. <laughs> he's like, Ooh. Right. Um. So what we got next on that? On mine, on mine, I've got through the um. They stop off at uh, Yellowstone to fuel oh, up or. Or near about there up. to talk to Woody Harrelson's character, character don't Charlie. They? Yep. Um, Charlie. So, oh God's sake. Charlie. You done? Continue. Sorry. You done? Okay. Um, so we got um, the Charlie character on top of the hill. Um, I could survive the situation he was in, primarily by, by eating not a pickle, eating a pickle, and eating not pickle. hanging around watching the show, going. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm going to watch this exploding. I don't know why I keep doing Woody Harrison's voice. is so high why pitched. Why did he say that? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's just like, it's beautiful. I'm going like to stay on watch. Helium. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's on helium. Yeah. It's those pickles. He's God a, knows where he gets Woody those pickles Harrison from. Woody Harrison is a good actor and you're doing him a disservice by portraying him as a four-year-old. It's those pickles. You, you know what? You don't know where he gets those pickles, pickles from. 
Notoriously high in helium. <laughs> yes, they are. Anybody eats pickles will be able to tell you that. But anyway, I... who would they? Yes, they would. Oh. But anyway, he he stays on top of the um the hill watching the explosion, doing his radio show. It's like us being on top of the hill. He's doing his doing podcast, a podcast. He yeah. does a blog or something. Yeah, we'd be doing a live episode of We Could Survive That over a volcano. Going, yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. Screw oh, you, look volcano. volcano. We can Jack, survive Jack, pass me you. a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Toasting pickles with oh, that'd be <laughs> over the volcano, <laughs> but um, yeah. So I could survive that. Oh, we could survive that even more by uh, when Jackson well, said. I, I don't eat pickles, so I'd, I'd, I'd well, probably don't not. You suck. No. Oh God, I hope so you. I, I wouldn't survive because of the lack of pickle nutrition to help you. I pull wouldn't your be body able around. to run away or or anything. But when Jackson said, "You sure you don't want to come?" I would have said, "Yeah, I'm I'm coming with you." So um, that and then following that directly. Sorry, did you have any input on that one at all? I hate pickles. You hate pickles, right? There, you suck. Right, they drive away in the camper van after yes. trying to go while and the, see while the, Woody with the fireballs uh, coming down. A worse car than a limo. Why? Limos. Yep. And vans. Yep. Are the two cars that you don't want to drive when you're being chased by something. However. They're just this, too from, slow and unpractical. This, yeah, but maybe being too slow is what saved them. And how is Jackson a stunt driver again? What? Oh, he's got those. It's because <gasps> the guy threw the Gordon threw uh, Gordon flew the plane through the city, so he's like, he I'm going to one up him again. I'm going to one up him again. Watch this. Is that the only reason they stopped off in Yellowstone? Just that's to, why. I'm going <laughs> to. This That's is going to look end. really cool. They I'm going to run away the from maps fire. Where they are, yeah. There'll be a fireball. It'll be big nuclear explosion. It'll look really cool. Yeah, that's why he done it. So he could sh- so he could show up, Gordon, to get his wife back. That's basically this entire show. Show this time. <laughs> whoops! This entire film it's is Gordon just, um, and Jackson trying to one up one of each other to show he's got the bigger schlong to win back the misses. Oh, that's that's what it is. Which is why later on, for later on the film, when something happens to Gordon, that's the reason why. Yeah. But we'll get we'll come on to we'll, that. We'll, we 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 did discuss now, this, but the um. Yeah. So he's driving from the fireballs, and then the fact he stops, he looks for the map, the entire camper van then collapses. When it collapses, he's in the camper van, which means when it collapsed into the pit, he somehow jumped out of the camper van and climbed back up, and then runs off the plane as it's taken off. No. Jackson gains superpowers. Jackson is Usain Bolt's personal trainer. That's the <laughs> yeah, only yeah. explanation. <laughs> the explanation why. So that's not like... only he's a, is he a writer, a stunt driver... He's also an Olympic level sprinter. And did you notice how Gordon started to pull the plane away? Because he thought, I oh, oh, want no. Jackson to oh, die. Oh, come on, Jackson. Oh, you're Quilly Jackson, you're catch up. You're almost there. Oh, I think it's off the bar. Jackson's thinking, oh, no, he's got the high pitched voice. Oh, he must become a. He's eating the pickles. That's why he's lost <laughs> it. <laughs> no, it's, it's just the altitude changing the voice. <laughs> pickles and altitude. Um, yeah, so I've got that. Um, so Gordon just should have left it, uh, Jackson behind on that. Pretty one, much, yeah. yep. So after a camper van the collapsing, um, yeah, just the airplane on the runway again, pulling off because he. Oh no, we we've run out of um, of uh. Oh damn, runway. Normally, you know what? I, can, yeah. I, I even just said airplane on the runway pulling off, and then I oh, forgot, forgot the word. I forgot the word already. Wow. But yeah, so um, he pulls off on the uh, runs out of runway, and he still manages to pull off gets enveloped by the smoke cloud and still flies out of it without being hit by a fireball. No. Uh, You remember uh, back a few years ago when that volcano in Iceland went up and they cancelled all the... All the flights because of the ash. That was falling, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 What is... They were in it. The plane should have, like, like been full of dust and and corrupted all all the fuel and, and everything. So, real life? No. Well, as we, all, as we all know, this this is obviously it's not real life. It is a fictional film. Do you know what? Shut your face. That didn't really happen. It really didn't. In fact, I remember what I was doing on the 21st of December 2012. It was on the 20th of December 2012. I was sitting downstairs reading a book. And I was watching the clock get into midnight because I thought, let's see, let's see what happens. It's midnight. The Mayans were let's very precise happens. in their voodoo predictions, weren't they? The minds didn't predict the end of the world. It's just when their long count calendar I know that. ended. They're just... <laughs> oh god! People just thought the world was going to end then because the Mayans' long count calendar ended. But like a calendar, it just restarted over. That's they just all. ran out of paper. No, it's a calendar, so it just restarts. They ran out of paper. It's like when we come to the end of December, the world doesn't end, does it? It goes back to January again. 
Oh, I wondered what that was. Yeah, so did I. I always wondered how it worked like that. And then we, I've digressed. Yeah, yeah fucking mines. Stop <laughs> talking about the mines. It's all bollocks. Uh, we come to President Danny Glover. I don't know what the character's presidential name is. Do you know what? Is. I he's don't. Just, he's Mr. He's just, President. He's Mr. President. He's President yeah. Glover. President Glover. He became... President Predator Killing Glover. Yeah. Predator 2. As we all know, yeah. He Predator killed, 2. He killed it outright, unlike Arnold. What do you mean Arnold, outright? Arnold didn't kill it outright. Arnold made it blow itself up. Yeah, Arnold the Predator committed it. suicide. Danny Glover he took it to the Predator. I reckon Arnold could beat Danny Glover, though. No. Yes. Yes, right. straight out. If Danny Arnold's Glover can be character. a predator, he can be Arnold. No. But I'm Arnold, right. Arnold is fighting against the, f- the forest as well. The forest should have been his ally. He was highly trained as well. Yeah, Danny exactly. Glover, common police person, would just... No. No, Arnold we disagree. Loses. We disagree on this. Arnold I'm, I'm, loses. I'm, I'm... Right. Leave in the comment section below. Arnold Schwarzenegger or Arnold Danny Glover. Arnold v Glover. Maybe that's one of the episodes. Schwarzenegger we versus do. Glover. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the. Episodes. I'm I'm going with Arnold. Go Arnold. I'm I'm on Team Glover. Uh, team President Glover. Ooh, President Glover. He's President Ooh, Glover. Whoopty um, bloody do. Sadly, President Glover's time in the White House didn't last too long because he gets squished by a boat, a giant um battleship. The White House Naval, gets one squished the, um, aircraft when it, carriers, yeah. it uh, was like um, a flood, and that carries what, in a, carries in boot. What amazed me is um, uh, when he's throw, when he when he first goes outside and he's looking for the 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 dad of the kid. He said he'd help the kid find the dad, and then the, um, yeah. the Lincoln Memo- Memorial collapses, mm. and then that's when the the dust comes, and then everybody's laying there, and it's just him. That stands up where have all the ashes fallen. Everybody else is laying there still either unconscious or dead. He is the president. And it's just him. He That's survives his... that. Yeah. And then he gets killed by that. Why are we complaining about this scene? There's nothing he could have done. We couldn't survive that. And he what when a he... boat being yeah. squished on the We White couldn't House. survive no, right. that. right. My argument is the the president is the most important person in America. If right. they can't organise his evacuation, yeah, but they did. How though. the hell did they organise all the stuff at the end with the giant boats and? They did orga- organise his evacuation. He chose not to go. Why I can't? Re- why did he not want to go? Well, because I don't know. He never really explains it. There's something you can moan about. It doesn't explain why. Because he's in the chapel in the White House. I killed a predator. That's enough for me. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've done my duty. I got a sweet, sweet story. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, because he's in the chapel, isn't he? And then they're like, we've got to evacuate now. And he's like, yeah, let me have a word with this, um, the geologist guy. And then they get on the plane. He chooses not to get on Air Force One. That's that's it. Someone it's, would it's have trained him. him and... No. It's the president, during the times like that, that he becomes the commander-in-chief or chief commander. Or, no, commander-in-chief. Is it command, called a commander-in-chief? I don't know what you're trying to say. Command- <laughs> You've said he's in charge of everything. In he's in charge of everything. Nobody can overrule him, uh, or I don't know, whatever. But surely the queen it. can overrule. The him. queen's in the film. Did you see her? When they get when they arrive at the base where they're keeping the arcs, the yeah. little dog barks and it's the little oh the corgis. Oh, yeah, wow. and look over and it's a woman. Oh. And it's the queen. Oh, oh, it's maybe someone playing a queen. Billion euros that cost to get onto that. Could the queen afford the that? Would she just have to? show her face yeah, well, Does, is queen... her face as currency I don't know where did the queen get a billion euros from what's a billion euros in pounds that's where our fucking tax has been <laughs> well, to <laughs> put the queen <laughs> on one of the arcs yeah. it Damn will be her. three years ago now Liz I thought we were mates what's going on <laughs> nah nah she don't care but anyway um, so Aww. the only way we could survive how the president died was to headbutt the not um, being a bitch bow. and just get on air force one could you karate chop it in half Karate chop in half. What the boat? The boat. Yeah. No, but naturally I can fly, so I'll just fly out the <laughs> oh, way, wouldn't yeah. I? I forgot God, about that. Come on, man. I forgot about that hidden talent of yours. Oh no. To fly. Uh, what have you got next in your list? Uh, after the sad, sad death of um, President Glover. Who sucks? Who's the best? Go, Arnold. Um, Shane, the Russian friend of the Russian billionaire who Jackson drives about, who they happen to bump into on an airport. In Vegas. In Vegas. Uh, they decide to all team up the Russian the Russian man's butler and the Russian man's lady friend. 
And the two little annoying Russian kids. And the annoying twins. How many annoying kids are there? There's the annoying twins and the annoying... The, the Noah. Son. Jackson's Noah's kid is called annoying. Noah. Noah's Ark. Why? Noah's Ark. Ash. Maybe that was planned because, like I said, there was a planned spin-off series called 2013, which would be a TV series following the survivors of this. So maybe they pl- called him Noah because they wanted him to have like a Noah's Ark type thing. That's stupid. Obviously, the spin-off was cancelled. So Yeah. And they turned it into the film Noah. Into the film <laughs> Noah. Noah. Yeah. So they they all team up. Um, they they go for a little fly. They take a they steal a bigger big plane. And they yeah. go for a oh, fly. Oh god, that annoyed me. And they try to is it, are they going to the arcs where the arcs are? They're trying to fly to China. Uh, they want to land in Hawaii, I believe, to refuel. Yeah. Um, Hawaii, obviously, because it's got a volcano there, it's just become an entire molten lava pit. They've lost all the landing gears in Vegas. So when they Well, eventually... that was very silly. They should have kept a note of where it was. And yeah, they should. It's another thing. When they finally, finally reached China... It's another thing. They wanted to stop and refuel in Hawaii on the way to China. But they reached China anyway? Without, re- without, without refueling? No. So, what? Maybe they just wanted to go to Hawaii. Hawaii, yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell. Hawaii, yeah. that'll be nice. I we'll, want to see the palm we'll trees. There. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> Woody Harrison's character said he got the pickles from here. It's over in Hawaii, so I it. Is. <laughs> <laughs> the helium pickles are back. Enough of the but, um, helium pickles. So to land in China, they they do a James Bond, or is it a, does it happen in a James Bond film? It's probably a James Bond film that happens in. Gets in the car, and reverses out, and they 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 come out of the back of the plane, don't they? In the cars, yeah, uh, he's carrying all the cars. They get yeah. to a Bentley one. That's only the engine's only voice activated by the Russian guy. So lucky he was there, because he says, "What another coincidence?" Yeah, l- lucky Gordon yeah, he can there. fly, and the Russian guy oh, too can many activate, coincidences. Activates the Bentley. They then come out of the plane, don't they? The Bentley falls onto the ice, spins around several times, avoids yeah. all the other cars that fall but, out. But of course, because Jackson's a stunt driver, uh, yeah, he, can, he avoids all he the cars and parks it safely. Skill past them. Now at that point, the Russian pilot guy, what was his name again? Sh- what was it? Sasha. 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 That sounds like a girl's name. Yeah, it does. Pretty sure that is a girl's name. Is it a r- male Russian name? He's 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 a man. Do we have any Russian listeners who can confirm if Sasha is a male Russian name? Because that's a female name as far as I know. We don't speak Russian, so how would they know what we're no, saying No, don't right do now? a Russian accent. I, I don't know, they can speak English. I will try not to do the Russian accent, but oh, it God. is too late. So no, the Russian guy, um, he stays on the plane for... for is, does he say a reason? Because no, he, he, he could back. just get off... Yeah, once they them. once they're out, because they're on the on on the on the I ground. Think, I think sliding. it was to keep. Yeah, I think it was to keep it to go in a straight line and not to um have it like spin off left or right into all on the mountains. But after, even after they came out, he could have just ran and jumped out the back or gone out through. It was probably. I'm sure there must have been other exits on that plane to get out of. Yeah, and then the, plane, the exits are here, 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 and here. He must have known that. Obviously, he's a trained pilot, unlike Gordon. He was oh, a trained oh. pilot. <laughs> But, um, here's another thing. Uh, what was it? Uh, da, 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 I was going to say, yeah. After it's crashed and it slides and it's now sliding along on its own, it's got no control and it comes to the over over the edge of the cliff. At that point, he could have gone up and gone. It stops over the cliff. He then sits there and does a little prayer. I don't know if he's meant to be saying. Does he? Does he wipe his brow? Go, oh, whew, that was a oh, close yeah. one. That's it. Well, it's sliding towards the edge. He does a little prayer for him. he's about to die. He could have just gone up and gone then. Uh, then it does it stops when he's hanging over the edge and he sits there relaxed he should have just got up and gone and <laughs> then it falls shit. and then it falls over and collapses I need to clean my trousers that was a close one. Oh god yeah oh, exactly no. oh no we're tilting he had multiple opportunities to get out of there and he chose just to sit there just to make it dramatic I'm going to be the awesome awesome guy that saves everyone oh, god. Gordon can fly a plane Gordon Jackson can, fly can drive plane. epically wait until wait until me. Mrs. X Jackson gets a load of this. Yeah, I'm Wait just hang out and watch that. this. Yeah. But, uh, Got Jack- that all I have to get. Uh, yeah, Jackson showed um, Gordon up then again because Gordon only co piloted that plane. It was all down to the Russian, oh. so it wasn't that impressive. Yeah. I didn't co-drive this Bentley no I no. got it out and spun it out yeah. on my own with style bloody terrible I drove a Bentley Gordon 
Yeah, worthy of an Bentley. Oh, I, I forgot that very bit, bit near the film at the beginning of the limo scene through the city. He reverses limo around and knocks Gordon's car backwards into the crack, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, that was another just fuck you to Gordon. Screw you. They are they they are they're at war with each other the entire film for Kate's attention. They are. That's, they, they are. That's not good survival. It's um, not good. No. As, but, as survival experts, you have to be in a survival situation with someone you can trust. That's why if me and Jack were surviving the apocalypse, we wouldn't be trying to get the attention of other people, would we? We'd be working together um, like unless, a strong team. Unless they were really hot. Unless in they were really case, hot, in which see case, you, Chris, fuck bye-bye. you. Let's yeah. do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's on. Um, yeah, so that was that scene. Then they get picked up by um, the Chinese, the... which are flying animals over to the arcs. Yeah. That was lucky, wasn't it? That was, yeah, more luck. How lucky are these people? Very lucky. I think they actually say in part of the film, don't they? It's down to luck and they're, they're running on luck at one point. too lucky. They they don't deserve that much luck. You know the guy that plays uh, Jackson? I've never seen one of a film and that was Hot Top Time Machine. They're doing a sequel. Hot Top Time Machine 2? Yeah, but he's not in it. It's not a sequel then, is it? They got, a, they got the other watch three guys. Don't care. Not, not watching it. I might watch it. Great. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, so, tangent. Yeah. We tangented. We must go back to topic. Yep. Sorry. Well, digressed again. Right. Um, yeah. Then the Chinese fly over carrying the animals. So then the Russian gets picked up by the Chinese, and the others walk along. And luckily, the Tibetan monk is driving his um, the uh, his car <laughs> the, the large car enough for f- five other people and passes them at the right moment to yeah. pick them up. Luckily, he's on his way to sneak in onto the Ark so they can just join yeah. him. Coincidence. I know, everything goes so well for these people in the film, don't it? Oh. Brilliant. It's not brilliant. <laughs> You're so angry. Really, if he's driving it's heavy snow, what would have been good is if Jackson run down in front of the car, streaming Jackson, the shot. I imagine Jackson goes, I'm driving now. Yeah, get out of the way. The, the monk's just like... Let me, just, let me show you how no, it's done. No, this is my car. Jackson's like, trust me. I'll drive. <laughs> yeah, trust me. I think I know a thing or two about driving. You should have seen the sweet, sweet dodging I did in a limo. Man, that was epic. Man, have I got a story to tell you when we get onto this arc? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what would be good? Because um, Jackson runs down and he's behind a car, isn't he? He throws like a rock and shouts and screams and the old lady sitting in the back and sees, yeah? They reverse him over him. <laughs> or reverse Who's back and knock dick? Jackson over. <laughs> yeah. He throws the rock and Squish hits him. It, throws the rock and hits the old lady in the back of the truck. <laughs> Kills her. Kills her <laughs> <laughs> uh, old lady. She only wanted to help them, and he's trying yeah, to murder he's, them. Yeah, he throws stones at her. He's he's not very nice. We'll, but we'll get onto how evil Jackson can be in a moment. Can oh we, yeah, can we, we get will. onto that now? Um, uh, hang on a minute. We need. We no 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 no. Um, uh, before that's, we do, that, I want to co- I want to oh, no, cover oh, the point yeah. of people. When they wouldn't let him onto the ark, and they were um, throw it falling off the edge of the um, yeah, rather platform. than sneaking in, yep. like uh, the Tibetan monks and um, Jackson's group, yeah, uh, they they all pile on right next to the edge, don't they? That would never happen here in in Britain. Uh, no, we love we, to queue. We we are fans of queuing, that and is, we are very right. very polite. Yes, we don't budge in. We do it do you nicely. Know what? We've been doing this entire episode assuming that people have seen the film in 2012. I think we've described it good enough, but um, if you do want to watch the film, don't. No, no, no. And that's watch the, the closest film. you're going to get to a review on this show. <laughs> it's not no. brilliant. What? No, I, I say watch a film and then re-listen to this podcast and it'll sound a lot better. Because for this podcast to work, this episode specifically to work better, you need to have watched 2012 to fully understand everything we're talking about. We're giving them the gist, though. We are. Yeah. So that brings us to the finale of the film. The finale. They're I'm all scared. trapped in the mechanise bit of the arc, aren't they? Uh, the mechanise bit of the arc. I'm going to go talk about the people on the platform. Queued. We've done that. Just queuing. People queuing the platform queue. and then getting pushed off. Oh, we did yeah. cover it. Yeah, there we yeah, are. We oh, sorry, we did. Yeah, I completely forgot. Completely, you completely my memory forgot that did, what yeah. happened seconds ago. Seconds ago. Wow. Apologies. Mechanizey bit. Yeah, they're crawling. They're, they're they're crawling through like the service the service areas, aren't they? Yeah. And um, the one bit that they get stuck in is a bit that's essential for the door of the ship or the boat to um oh, open and close. What a coincidence! 
Another one. At that point, they're going through it, aren't they? Then they decide to open the doors to let the rest of the people on. Yeah. Um, which selfish is when bastards. the selfish let's bastards. save everyone else. Yeah. Let's. What? What do you mean? No. That's not a selfish. Selfish. Oh fuck's sake. <laughs> selfish. Being sarcastic. Oh yeah, I did. I didn't pick up on that. Go you know, it's been a long day. Go on, you were missing. <laughs> um, you were saying something. As they're opening the doors to the boat, um, uh, da, 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 um, it sets off the mechanisms, the big spinny Is that gears, the grindy s- things. Sound the mechanisms make. Yeah, pretty much. That's when the Tibetan monk's brother falls in, one of the engineers, and Gordon falls in, and. They're holding Who's on for there dear to life. Save him? And it's Jackson. Jackson. And uh, as we know at this point, there's a feud between these two for the attention of Kate. Okay, okay, right. Um you you be uh g- <laughs> <Go on>. <laughs> <laughs> what? At, the, at this point. Yeah, Jackson's like, You tried to take off without me, Gordon, you you bastard. You were, if I wasn't piece of shit, if Gordon. I wasn't a stunt driving um Fucking Olympic, Olympic medal runner, runner, runner bass, yeah, that we wouldn't you have left me. Gordon at this point going come on help me help me help, help me. me as Jackson looks down at Gordon uh, as he's slipping away come on oh just, oh no I Gordon can't just reach. reach anymore all that should be playing across his mind right now is this guy fucked my wife I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if if that was Kate going looks away him. for a moment Jackson just turns and then just punches Gordon in the face <laughs> flips the finger to Gordon and then yeah. boots him kicks him off and Kate goes oh where's Gordon where's Gordon I'm sorry I oh, did everything couldn't, I can, and he said, "Oh, oh no, they're, they're grinding <laughs> as me!" Be, as as Gordon's being crushed, he's going, "Jackson, you, you bastard. bastard! I'm gonna fucking yeah, on you! Yeah, yeah, you you left me alone. I Why? will get you." Okay, yeah, that but good. Gordon's Gordon. They wouldn't have made it this far without Gordon. They would so have made this far without Jackson. That's a pretty. But Jackson can't fly. Gordon, I'm a stunt Gordon runner. can't drive. If if Gordon, <laughs> yeah, Gordon can't drive. Gordon can't if drive. Gordon, if, I'm sure if Gordon wasn't around, then Jackson would have would have booked those spots for flying training. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he would have. So they were they were rivals in love and in booking for flying spots. Yes, they were, and ultimately Jackson won. Because even though Tim Burton Monk's brother, the engineer, got his leg trapped in it, he still managed to pull him out with an injured leg. Gordon just slipped, and Jackson, yeah, he reached out for him. He didn't Jackson try, though. Jackson pushes he him. He didn't really try, did he? They just cut that bit out because they wanted to make Jackson, Jackson look, like, look like, like a, a good dick. guy. But in real real life, Jackson kicks kicks poor, poor Gordon. Yeah, he would not have helped him at all. So um, at this point, Gordon dies. Yeah. Uh, how would you survive? Because that's, a, that's, oh, a, that's um, a we could survive that point. I think. So so I'm I'm Gordon. Yeah. How would you have survived? Fucking pull Jackson down. <laughs> pull Jackson down. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have pulled Jackson down because I wouldn't have reached him. I would have grabbed hold of the, the engineer monk, the monk's brother next to me, and I would have used him to pull myself up and what, push him and down. sacrifice him? Well, his leg was already trapped in the machine. I didn't know he was going to pull it out, well, did I? He gets it out. Yeah, but I wouldn't have known that. Right, the, the slope that Gordon's on doesn't look that steep either. It's not, no. He could have pulled himself up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I get it. It was smooth, but it wasn't like an app. It wasn't like a slide going you down could... there, was it? Yeah. So the surface is not. It's not unclimbable. <laughs> it's not unclimbable. The he monk climbed out. Could have out. climbed it. G- granted, the monk did have hold of that wire. Uh, he had a bit of cable there from the, the machine, from the drill that he was using. What a coincidence! Even the monks get coincidence. It's not just Jackson's lot. It's whoever's with Jackson's group. It if you're with Jackson's group, you him. get the coincidence. So that happens. Um, we lose Gordon. Jackson's t- m- eyes going mental. Like Kate didn't seem too affected, did it? No, she was fine. She was when back he, on when he had to, in, yeah, when in he, seconds. Yeah, when he had to go back to dislodge the um, mechanic, dislodge the, um, uh, the the drill, whatever it was, from the, um, the machine so the doors could close... She was kissing him, when, saying, when they... "Oh, I love you." Oh, oh, completely. F- Gordon was just gone. Hey, wait, where's completely where's, forgot where's Gordon. Gordon? Oh, okay. <laughs> does she know at this point he's not there? Yeah. Does she even register <laughs> it? <laughs> does she care? Does she? No, I don't think she no. cares. She doesn't give a she flying does shit, that. does she? She's worse than oh. Mrs. McLean. Oh, Molly McLean from Molly Die McLean Hard. from Die Hard. He goes through the first two trying to save her, and in the third one, divorce. 
We've been through that. I shout out about Molly McLean. But yeah, yeah, Kate's yeah do you feel worse. better about it now? It was just She's terrible, worse. weren't it? That would bring us to the point of the um, not skipping too far ahead of him going to dislodge the equipment, which I think he should have drowned with. Um, yeah, how long were they underwater for? Underwater quite a bit. I tried holding my breath to match it. I couldn't do it. You couldn't? No. Nope. Because that, that was going to be uh, something we were going to do on the podcast. Just minutes of us holding Hold, our breath. Seeing, holding our that breath. That would make for great audio entertainment. Yeah, just nothing. Just the, every now and then you'd get a little... As a little bit of air escapes yeah. <laughs> as you try to continue holding on the breath, doesn't it? Yeah. So but um, the we'll corridors... do that next time. <laughs> yeah, next time we'll give it a go. We'll but um, the corridors that. start the flood, don't they? And they, Lily and the Russian girl, um, get separated from the rest of the family, and then yeah. the Russian woman saves Lily by pushing her through the door with the dog. That then fills up, and then she then drowns. Which is weird because then the compartments, the corridor is now in three sections. The section where Lily's in, the section in the middle where the Russian woman's in, and yeah. the section where everyone else is in. Where Lily is, that doesn't flood anymore. That stays level. Where everybody else is, that doesn't flood anymore. That stays level. The middle section floods and drowns. Why does that bit flood and it's in the middle? That makes no sense. How does the water get in there? Because water a terrible in... pumping system. Somebody really messed up while engineering the Yeah, arts. they did, didn't they? Because the water coming in there was from, well, the corridor where everywhere else was. Yeah. And that didn't fill up. What? what? That's I, I don't know. That's I got angry engineer. at that point. You wouldn't get that engineering in France. Why? I thought you were doing Russian then. Right. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> <laughs> it went terrible. It went terrible. But, um, yeah, so that... that I, I would have survived that by... Because she pushes the kid through, and then the dog through, and then she gets stuck in there. The Russian woman. That's how she yeah. dies. Screw that! I just jumped through, and it may pull the kid through as enough time. The dog's fucked at this point. Not the dog. Oh, it's a chihuahua, isn't it? It's a chihuahua. That's it's a little yappy thing. Not nice. Bloody dog. little yappy dogs. Yeah. But yeah. then, do they keep the dog at the end? I don't know. So Gordon. I didn't see it. I've not seen the last fifteen minutes. Gordon so I've dies, not seen the dog. and they probably keep the dog. Yeah. Jackson's like, yes, this turned out epic. This we turned out amazing. Dog. No, I've got, got a his, free dog. I've got his, no, he's like, I've also got his Russian girl. He's got fake breast implants, courtesy of Gordon, yeah. that I can have on the side. But she drowns. She so drowns. Why are giraffes watching? Because they're below the animal bit, aren't they? Yeah. So the like, animal's like looking down, just watching her just drown. Is it? Yeah. Giraffe could have helped. Oh, yeah. Stuck they got long through. necks, yeah. Long tongue. They could have acted as a rope. <sighs> but do what? She reached the top of the, of, of the roof, though. It was all just grail, wasn't it? How was she going to get through that? the giraffe could have licked it down and she could have punched through it. Or a uh, hippo okay, could we're have jumped on here. it. <laughs> no, no. You've been eating pickles again, haven't you, you oh. bastard? I know, that's why my voice is so high. You know, your voice is high all the time. Oh, I've been kicked but in the testicles too many times. I didn't survive them. My testicles, they're broken. <laughs> You've no longer got the testicles anymore. They're broken. Brilliant. Right, right Um, which takes us to the next point of what? That's... That's it. After uh, after um, Jackson Dislodges started, the, started uh, the whole thing going to shit and it not being able to the doors to close, so he's got to s- contrive. So he's a hero. So he stops it. But um, yeah, after that, um, everybody lives happily ever after, apart from Gordon, who's dead. Who's dead? So there's that film. So in total, do twenty twelve. We could survive that, yes or no? Of course. Yes, I think as we long could as have. we had Gordon and Jackson. Gordon and Jackson. Everybody else is useless in that the situation. The most coincidental coincidency people ever to have lived. Ever. <laughs> ever to have lived. So, 2012, the film. We could survive that, yes. Jackson and Gordon couldn't have. Without each other. There were. But together sword they could have. fighting with dicks too much the entire film yeah, yeah pretty much so um that was that if you'd like to leave in the comments whether you think you could survive 2012 yeah um uh, the film obviously not not like yeah the, the film well you, you obviously survived the year because we're, we're in 2015 we're in 2015 just about say survive yeah, that didn't we, we did it yeah it was before we were survival experts before no i was pretty sure it was we were survival experts, experts from birth weren't from we? birth yeah yeah i should know I was born with my umbilical cord right around my throat, right around my throat, and I survived that. So I'm just saying, even at birth, I was like, Psst, it's no, no big deal, no biggie. What you should I get out of this one? Got it tangled up. That was what? very silly. 
I didn't plan on it getting time good up, did I? That's just silly. Right, before Chris does his smooth, smooth outro, um, if you want to contact the show, you can email us at wecouldsurvivethat at gmail.com or you can follow us on the Twitter at wecouldsurvive. Also, um, uh, if you have any feedback, uh, leave a comment in the iTunes section or on Podomatic. Uh, it can be one word, um, if it was one word. Uh, let that word be groovy. Please don't let the word be shit. If yeah, if you don't like it, um, don't write you can any... say you can say shit. Yeah, just I don't want any leave negative us with criticism. A comment. I want no negative criticism. I want. I don't all think I can the take it. Criticis- cri- criticisms. Yes, that's it. All the negative stuff. Aim it at Chris. Criticism. Why would you do that? Why I have they? coined no. a new word. We're not having criticisms. Hashtag criticisms. Shit. Chris, it's my favourite time. It's outro time. It's outro time. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for downloading and listening or streaming online. You have been listening to We Could Survive That, your weekly survival guide to the movies. Thank you for surviving 2012 of us. Goodbye. Oh, is that it? Oh, That was it. Goodbye. What? Oh, bye. <laughs>